We'll guide you through how to download and install shaders on Minecraft on Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, you will need to go and close off Minecraft. Next, we need to go and get something called Java, and Java is gonna allow us to go and run Optifine. So go and open up a web browser, I'll just use Safari. But just before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. Then my go-to Minecraft server host, and I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. And here's just a few of its awesome features. They've got 24 seven servers and support, so you can get help anytime you need it. Instant setup, one click install mod packs, and so much more as you can see. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So go and check them out, but back to the guide. So first of all, you want to go and search for Java, just like so, and go to java.com. And then all you need to do is go and click on download like this, and you'll then be taken to this page here. And then what you can do is click on the download button and the download will then go and begin. And then what you can do is go and double click on it from your downloads or find it in your find it in the downloads, and then go and run this here you'll go and get a pop-up. You'll need to go and press open just because it's from an identified developer. And then as you can see, you've got the option for install. You'll need to go and click on it and you'll need to go and enter your password as well. And it will then go and start installing. After it's finished, it will say it was successful and you can go and click on close. Now that you've installed Java, we can now go and get Optifine. And Optifine is basically an optimization tool for Minecraft, which also allows you to go and run shaders. So what you wanna do is go and search for Optifine, just like so, and go to optifine.net. Then go to the top and go and click on downloads. And now you want to go and choose the version you want. You can click, or, click on show all versions to look at past versions, but I just like to go and get the most up-to-date release and I'll then go and click on download. You'll get taken to an add wall. So you may go and see a download button here. That download button will not be for Optifine, it's for the add. You'll need to wait for the skip button to appear in the top right and go and click on it and then you can click on download and Optifine will then go and download just like this. And then what you can do is go and run it. And so here it is and all you need to do is go and double click on it like this. Now you may go and get this pop up and if you do just press OK and press OK again. You need to go and open up your system settings. So go to the bottom and click on it. And on the left you then need to go and scroll down into privacy and security and then scroll down all the way down until you get to the security section and you'll need to press open anyway if you're sure because it's been blocked. So yeah, I personally ran it myself. I've never had any problems with it and it's pretty trusted, but ultimately it's up to you. So after you've entered your password, you can then confirm your decision by clicking open and then we should go and see the Optifine installer go and appear. And then what you can do is go and click on install just like so and you may think nothing's happening, but it's just installing in the background. And just like that, it's been successfully installed. So now you can go and find the shaders you want. There are quite a few different types of shaders out there which can work on Optifine. A few I can think of are the BSL shaders, Silder shaders. So in this case, I want Silder shaders. So let me go to the top here and go and type it in just like so. I like to go and use Curse Forge, so I'll go there. And then we can go down and we can go and click on Files and we can then choose the version of what we want. And also with shaders, you're gonna find they have got different types. So you've got all the way from light to extreme. So light is for sort of lower end computers, whereas extreme is for higher spec computers. I'm just gonna go for medium. I'll go over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file. And now just go and wait for it to start. You may go and get this pop-up and you'll need to press allow for it to go and start downloading. And just like that, it's downloaded. And then what we can do is go and put this folder onto our desktop, just like so, so we can easily get to it in a moment. And then all we need to do is now go and launch Minecraft. So go and open up the launcher, and it's super important that in the launcher, you then go and run it using Optifine. So go over to the left of the play button and make sure you've got Optifine selected, and then go and click on play and wait for it to start. Inside of Minecraft, you would then need to go and click on options, go into video settings, and then click on shaders. And what you want to do is go and click on shaders folder. And I'll go and drag them in like so. And then come back to Minecraft. And as you can see, they don't seem to be appearing. And this is because they need to be a zip file. Here on the left, I already have some shaders in here, which is the zip file. So what I need to do is go and right click on this and go and click on compress shaders. And it's now compressed them. And as you can see, they've now gone and appeared. So if they aren't appearing, go and compress them into a zip file. And that should fix it. So we've now got them selected. I'll press done and let's get into a world. 
And here we are. And as you can see, this looks absolutely insane, guys. And if you want to go and turn them off, or maybe you want to have other packs, just pause the game by pressing escape, click on options, click on video settings and go to shaders and you can go and turn them off if you wish. But yeah, it's that simple to go and get shader packs on Minecraft on your Mac. If you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.